This morning, I'm up, up and at them early. I'm up at 4.30, 4.30 every single morning. Does not matter whether or not I'm going to the studio. Does not matter whether or not I'm working in corporate America. I'm up at 4.30 a.m. every single day. Don't matter whether or not I'm live streaming the night before, hanging out with friends and family. If you just went out and partied, if I had caught a trip yesterday, unless I'm flying somewhere to like to Japan and got a 12-hour uh, trip or something like that, I'm up at 4.30, right? So I'm up at 4.30, up and at them. Um, and at about 7 o'clock, Rita decided to get up because I guess she's just used to getting up at around 7 o'clock because she's usually taking my daughter over to school, right? And um, I had already worked out this morning, and so I'm getting things together. I'm texting back and forth, and I'm doing deals. I even talked to my dog, Will Motivation, early this morning. I was surprised he was up as early as I am, but I guess when you get into that bag, there's similarities amongst all of us, right? So um, I talked to Will, and I'm like, yeah, you know, come on the show. I talked to a couple people that I want to fly in, hopefully this weekend, in order to interview because, like, I'm dropping – Three interviews this week. I'm dropping three interviews this week, and they are very, very good. And they all gonna be exclusive, completely um, unfiltered, over for the Patreon members in the bag chaser. So make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Um, and then obviously, I waited till about nine o'clock before I started making some other phone calls to some businesses um, that I'm doing business with, mainly with regard to real estate, right? And so I call and. I left a message. They didn't call. And so they called me back a little bit before the show come on. They called me back about 45 minutes before the show came on today. And they said, Anton, all right, listen, I know what your proposals are. I know what your deals are. Uh, let me give you the, the rundown, right? Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm very, very disappointed in our legislators and these liberal cities, okay? So a lot of you are familiar with the fact that I've been building homes. I've become a developer, I'm in the process of starting my third home build. So while I have two already in flight, uh, one of them is probably about 60% done. We actually got the plumbing coming in next week, and then we got the framers coming in the first week of December. And I'm going to give you all an update on that on the live stream on the Patreon next month. And then uh, I have another process that's starting where I'm in maybe like the first 10% phase of finishing, pulling all of the permits for the second property that I want to build. So these are my first builds. Usually I want to get properties turnkey, but these are the first time that I'm actually getting into the development process because I wanted to learn as much as I can and start off smaller. So building single family homes was something I'm a little bit more familiar with versus just jumping straight into some kind of commercial development, right? And so I'm starting my third home and then <clears throat> I'm purchasing, I'm set to close next week on some other properties as far as land is concerned, right? And then a lot of y'all have heard that I'm actually moving back into the city. So my business has already moved into the city. I live in the suburbs of Metro Detroit. Um, even if you just want to see, here I'll show it to you. If you want to see what my background looked like, um, this is what I wake up to every morning, right? So... Ask the water, this is what I wake up to every morning. Um, some of the best views in the world. And I got angles at every part. And uh, I, I've been raising my daughter closer to where she goes to school, right? My daughter will be driving and she's going to get her license in, in February. And so now... Um, I have the ability to be able to break out. So I got a second place that I'm using for business down in the city. It's at the highest price point in the city. So I'm actually moving my residence back into the city. I'm moving into Detroit now that my daughter's old enough to drive. I'm still keeping this place. I'm still keeping all of my property out in Metro Detroit as far as the suburbs of Detroit and everything like that, right? So I've submitted some proposals because now I'm looking to transition from being a developer out here to being a somewhat of a commercial developer down into the city. So I've been working with my architect and he's been drawing up plans for a proposal or several proposals that I've submitted in order to secure and purchase uh, swaths of land into the city that's closer to the areas where I'm going to be living and developing at, right? So I get a phone call back this morning and my man says, you know, the lawyer, and then I get another phone call from a realtor, and he said, Anton, 
The process for you to be able to secure the land within the city. Now, I'm buying it cash. I'm not financing it. I'm not going through a bank. None of that. He said the bureaucratic process in a city is very, very difficult. I said, what do you mean? He said, Anton, it's going to take you at least six months for them to go through your proposal because you got to answer several different questions of what you plan to do with the land before they even sell it to you. He said it's going to take you six months for them to even go through your proposal to determine whether or not they want to sell the land to you. What? What are you talking about? So I see what you guys want to sell it for. I say, okay, I want to buy it without any kind of discounts for exactly what you guys want to sell it for. Well, no, Anton, you have to submit a proposal first of what you want to build on the land. Well, I want to build apartment buildings and single family homes, and I want to transition entire streets, entire blocks, entire neighborhoods over. And I want to build what I want to build as far as continuing to develop the community and making it a taxable, you know, uh, creating another tax base that then pay property taxes over to the city closer to where my office is. Oh, it's going to take you at least six months for them to even get to and review your proposal. Did I miss something or am I off? Because, see... Here, where I'm developing land, I go, I purchase the property, I go and work with the city, I have my architect draw up the drawings, uh, we get our, our contractors together, I pull the permits, I close usually within less than a week of identifying the property that I want to buy, I close with less than a week, less than a month later, I got the permits pulled and we already breaking ground as far as the excavation and building out the property itself. We get the surveyors out there, we start getting the excavators out there. We dig it up. We start to lay the concrete, the foundation. We pour the basement walls. And then we we, we moving. We moving. We getting it popping. I don't have time to just be sitting on money. The thing that I preach, which is much different than a lot of what these other people are preaching, in which I don't go through banks. I'm 100% self-financed. I don't go through banks. I don't do construction loans. I don't do hard money loans. I don't do any of that, right? I don't do mortgages, nothing. So once I paid off my last property last year, once, at the end of last year, towards the beginning of this year, when I paid off my last property, that was it. So I said, I'm never doing any finance. So why am I going to say never? Because you never know. Because you're doing these big projects. You may have to pull some money or get liquid or it may take you a little bit of time. But that's a whole other conversation. I'm, I want to purchase it. And I want to build apartments and single family homes and with the possibility of also having a retail at the bottom of the place. Why is it taking me six? Wait, why is it taking the city six months? And this doesn't happen in the, in the suburbs, where it's Oakland County, where it's one, one of the richest counties in the United States of America. This only happens in urban communities. I made a phone call right after that to a friend that I got over in Chicago. And then I made a phone call over to some people that I got down, down in Houston, right? And, you know, these are people that's also involved in commercial process because they're kind of mentoring me of what it is that I need to do and all of this stuff. And they said, Anton, yeah, it's like that everywhere. It's like that with every major urban city. Every liberal city, there's so much red tape and so much bureaucracy, bureaucracy that comes along with getting anything done. I don't understand how you make it difficult for people that actually want to help build up the city, build up the tax base. They're not even asking for any tax abatements or anything like that. Why is it so difficult for us to get stuff done in the cities that we want to get it done in? Why can't we expedite the process? Why is this a long process to get stuff? Now, I love my city and I love the transition that it's making, but I can't stand these liberal policies and the fact that they don't look at stuff from a business perspective, which slows down what we got going on that enables us to be able to do what we need to do. I can only imagine how long it's going to take me to be able to build a property as far as pulling permits and taking care of business and working with the city and stuff like that. Now, I don't want to go in too hard on my city simply because I know it's not in my best interest, especially for the people that watch the show. And I'm a fan of a lot of the different people that's in a political position. So I'm playing nice. But my problem is, and I called my guys from other cities, why is this such a difficult process? 
Why am I submitting a proposal to be able to purchase the land from you in the first place if you, the city, are the ones that own the land and you don't even make any money from the property taxes? At the very least, let me pay property taxes on the property before it's developed. And then once it's developed, obviously we'll you know, do a new assessment and then I'll pay even more property taxes and I'll be bringing people into the city that want to live there but can't find the proper housing that they want in order for them to be able to thrive in the city. Why is everything so difficult and hard and why is politics such a arduous process for us to be able to be successful and do the things that's in the benefit of you? Help me help you. You got one of the, literally, I am the biggest podcaster in the city of Detroit, meaning that I bring the most views, I bring the most positivity, I advocate for the city, and I see business leaders telling me, oh, Anton, that's just a part of the process. You got to cut through the red tape or you're going to have to make a phone call. So now I got to try to make a phone call or find somebody that I know, but I don't really want to make a phone call because I don't want to get them in trouble by them giving me preferential treatment. So I'm trying to go by the same process that everybody else do. But now I see why people cut corners and they say, okay, well, let me call my homeboy in order to get this approved. But then I don't want to put them in a position as the Dalton mayor over there or Chicago over there. Why we got to go through so many processes and hoops in order to be able to build and do what we supposed to do in our own cities? Why is politics the thing that hold us up? Why is government so big, but it's so slow? I'm telling you, man, if I ever become mayor, or if I ever do anything, I'm cutting all of this bureaucratic process out. I'm leveraging technology. I'm going to make this stuff easier. I'm going to make it more simple and I'm going to make it easy for people to be able to be productive. Because this is crazy. Crazy. Insane. Makes no sense whatsoever. So that's just my little rant. That's just my little rant. I just don't understand it. I don't know why why everything is so difficult and why it takes so much time. We aging. You see all of this gray in my beard? By the time that I start to actually break ground or the, or the possibility, so if I if I get my proposal turned down and then you want me to submit something different, is it another six months? It's just aggravating, man. It's very, very aggravating. So shout out to the liberal cities.